Hi everyone, welcome back to the Toffee Blues, your source for all things Everton. Uh, final score, uh, Chelsea 2, Everton 0. Um, and a tough one to take really. I think that's the Champions League pretty much over with now for us, uh, unless you know Chelsea drop points, which I don't think they're going to now. I think they'll probably go on and win the majority of their games between now and the end of the season because they, they were fantastic and you can't take that away from, from Thomas Tuchel. The, the difference in Chelsea compared to this fixture early on in the season was just yeah, blatantly obvious. Um, under Lampard, they were the, you know nowhere near as good as that, and they've came they've you know on their own turf they've they've just really turned us over there and, and had the better opportunities, had more of the ball, and uh, I don't think there was really ever really a way for Everton to. To know get anything out of that game. Um, obviously, a penalty and an own goal is what cost us tonight at Stamford Bridge. But you know, I'm I'm making it sounds a bit a bit a bit lucky for Ch for Chelsea there, which it wasn't at all. Um, you know, they were from from minute one. They looked like they were you know up for it tonight as as we did in in the first twenty minutes. I thought we played pretty well. Got a bit unlucky with the Ben Godfrey own goal, but you know Chelsea had other chances to score and. Um, we got a bit bit unlucky with that Ben Godfrey own goal. It could have gone anywhere, and it just ended up in the back of the net, unfortunately. Uh, and then there was obviously the penalty. Uh, Bar than that, I thought Jordan Pickford was marvellous tonight. He kept the kept the score down for me and made a couple of really good saves. Um, but you know, we we looked like we'd run out of ideas immediately once once they scored, and I think that's why it's so important for us to get more players in in the summer. We absolutely need. Uh, you know, an overhaul in the summer with more players because um, that squad is not nowhere near, nowhere near big enough to challenge uh, at the top of the table, or you know, to play play through a whole European campaign. Which, so uh, if we are to get into the Europa League, or you know, if, if we are to finish in those spaces that this season, we need to really get some signings in in the summer because. Um, it's absolutely obvious that this team just doesn't really have enough players in it and enough quality on the bench and you know coming into the team when other players are injured to to you know uh, to, to see through an entire league season. So yeah, but uh, apart from that tonight, I, I don't think I think I, the majority of the players played the exact same way. I think everyone was just pretty average and. Um, I think tactically, tactically, we were just outplayed from minute one. Tuchel had obviously set him, set his side up very. He's obviously prepared a lot for this game. I think we had as well, but the quality was just there. And uh, I think as a neutral, you'll look at it and go, "There, there it is." Everton will get this far, and then they'll fall when it matters. And this was the this was the game. This that, that if we'd have won this, we'd have you know really looked like we were going to challenge. But we haven't. We've lost it two 0 and uh, hopefully next season and, and in the seasons to come and after the few transfer windows, these are games we'll, that we'll win in because if, if we're going to finish high up in the league, we need to be winning these games that are important against the rivals. And um, Unfortunately, Chelsea have already got that quality. They've already got that squad depth uh, and their managers just complemented off nicely. So all the credit has to go to Chelsea tonight. I thought they were marvellous. Uh, defended really well in midfield. They were fast. Uh, James at right back was fantastic again, as he always is. He's, he's in my opinion, um, probably in my opinion, the best right back in the league. Uh, and yeah, we just we really struggled. We struggled to get out the blocks. We struggled to get any sort of attacking impetus in the game. And uh, yeah, it's it's a disappointing one, but obviously not all hope is lost. Uh, you know, we can go into the next few games and now we've got a nice easy run of games. Hopefully, we should be winning the majority of them. And then the cup at the quarter uh, the quarter final at the cup against City. So, yeah, uh, it, hopefully in in the league we can get some points back on the board. And you know we've gone on a a good winning streak there of three games. We've got nine points from the last three coming into this one, and uh, it, it was just a you know a, a little lapse in concentration tonight. And I'm hoping we can get back to it for the uh, for the next game. Um, and then the quarter final against City, which is the big one, the 26 year wait. We'll get to see if that's going to be extended or not. So, yeah, uh, I think, you know, we, we can't dwell on tonight too much. I think the most important thing is that we carry on um, playing the way we have been this season and we carry on with the, the confidence that the team's got. 
and we just sort of, you know, play our own football, see how high we can finish. We've got nothing to lose. We're already high up in the league. Let's let's try and just keep it going. Let's try and finish in these European places. Let's try and get net fifth nailed down now and put some, you know, distance between us and the other teams. We've still got that game in hand against Villa on them as well, which is which is nice to think uh, if we can get a win in that game against Villa. Then, you know, uh, we, we, we'll have done pretty well, so... Let's just keep getting some points. Let's, you know, uh, forget about this one now. Move on to the next one. And hopefully Everton can still get into Europe uh, for next season. But, yeah, make sure you uh, like the video if you did enjoy it. Uh, let me know your thoughts on the game in the comments section down below. And I'll try and answer as many of them as I can. Uh, but apart from that, hope you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you in the next one.